Hello everyone, my name is Rui Qingtian. I'm a postdoc researcher in PNL. Today I'm going to introduce our work on sparse tense algebra optimizations in MLL. This work is collaborated with Dr. Luai Zhengguo and Dr. Gao Chenkester from PNL. So our work is based on Comic Compiler, which is a domain-specific compilation for uh, in MLIR. Comet compiler contains a domain specific language for sparse and dense tense algebra computations. It is focusing on the computational chemistry and the graph analytics applications. And as to the comp compiler infrastructure, Comet enables from high level domain specific and low level architecture specific compilation optimizations. And uh, Comet also contains tense algebra dialect in the ML infrastructure, and it provides the abstractions for dense and sparse story format, which means a great a set of per-dimensional attributes to specify the sparsity properties of tensors. And uh, the attributes can enable uh, support for a wide range of sparse story format. And also, Comet contains a data layout optimization to enhance the data locality. And it also supports the sparse output for mixed sparse dense computations. And uh, based on that, Comet also uh, can automatically generate the code for the sequential and the parallel execution. And uh, the interface is, uh, it also contains an interface with the emerging data flow architectures like some, some Nova architectures. And uh, Comet also contains some runtime right support, such as the input dependent optimization, uh, data layout optimization to increase the uh, locality and the uh, load balancing. And also, it reads the input matrices and tensors, uh, and uh, it will be converted into the internal tensor storage format. So as to our the motivation of our work, sparse tense algebra is used is widely used in many applications like the scientific computing, machine learning, and data analytics. In sparse kernels, uh, both the input might be sparse and also the output maybe also need to be sparse. Um, so the challenge is to support the sparse tensor computation is that the sparse uh, tensors are stored in the compressed irregular data structures and uh, uh, which introduce irregular data, uh, data access patterns and affect the data locality. And uh, the, uh, the other point is that uh, in the compound expression, the output operation will be used as a input in other operations. So that means if uh, we need to store the output in sparse, because if we store the output in dense, it, uh, it will consume too much uh, memory. And uh, uh, on the other hand, the sparse output contains expensive insertions and accesses to sparse tensors, which has large time complexity. Uh, complexity. So it's very challenging to support the uh, uh, sparse computations, especially uh, supporting the sparse output. So as to our solution, we introduced a temporary dense data structure. We call the workspace to store the value in the sparse dimension in the uh, sparse kernels to improve the data locality while producing the sparse output. So by introducing the workspace, uh, it uh, it brings some uh, advantages. For example, it significantly improves the performance of sparse kernels through the efficient dense data structure accesses. And it also reduces the memory footprint because it uses the dense data structure. And uh, uh, because it can generate the sparse output, it can avoid the uh, uh, densifying the, uh, the densifying issue in the compound expressions. So in order to support the workspace, we introduced the uh, index tree IR, uh, which means uh, uh, so the index tree IR in common compiler is a high level intermediate representation for a tensor expression. Uh, basically, it can uh, consists of two types of nodes, the uh, index nodes and the compute nodes. The index node contain one or more indices to represent the loops or nested loops, and uh, each index represents a level of loop. And for the compute node, it contains the computer statement. So here, uh, there is a, a simple example. Suppose we have this matrix multiplication uh, 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 expression uh, as PGM, and uh, and the index tree for this tensor expression will be like this. Uh, it has the, uh, the, uh, the oral node means the index node, and the leaf node means the computer node. So this index tree will, will uh, actually represent the code that looks like this. Uh, this is just a pseudocode. Um, so here, the, inner no the index node will be used to generate a 
uh, nested loops, which is uh, RKG order, uh, like uh, the same order with the RKG, the index order in the index node. And uh, the uh, leaf node will be used to generate the computer statement. So we will do the works uh, then uh, based on the uh, initial works uh, index tree, we'll do the uh, workspace transformation on the index tree represent, uh, representation. So uh, why we do that? Because uh, it uh, reduces expensive insertions and accesses to sparse tensors. And uh, it contains a dense data structure uh, because the dense data structure has better locality. And on the other hand, it will prefer to generate a for loops instead of while loops because it's utilizing the, uh, because the uh, generator for loops can utilize the existing for loop optimizations. So how we do that? First, we need to identify the index uh, index that uh, needs the workspace. Uh, if we find the index, then we will store the value in the uh, in the sparse dimension into the workspace, which is a, a uh, which is a dense low uh, low dimensional data structure. And uh, so then we will check the uh, output and the input. For the output, if it contains a sparse dimension, uh, we, will, we, will, uh, we will check if it contains a sparse dimension or not. So here, for example, if the SPHM in CSR, if the dimension J is sparse in the uh, tensors uh, in the matrix C, then the, this original expression will be transformed into this uh, set of operations. and. Uh, for example, if in the input, uh, and if one dimension in both two input tensors are sparse, then we will um, do. Uh, we will also work, apply the workspace transformation. So here, for example, if in the element-wise multiplication expression, uh, the uh, the expression, the original expression, will be converted into a set of operations like this. So. After we identify the index that need to do workspace, uh, that, that need to be applied with workspace, trans uh, workspace, then we will apply the workspace transformation in the index tree. So originally we have index tree uh, like this. And um, because uh, here, uh, suppose the J, uh, J dimension in uh, matrix C is sparse, then we will apply the workspace transformation on the dimension J of C. The computer's uh, node will be uh, split into a set of operations like this. And we split the index uh, J uh, separately. Um, moreover, we will do a little more optimization to reduce the unnecessary loops. So here, uh, for example, the WJ equal to zero has no relationship with the index key. We will remove the index key along its path. So some uh, similar with other uh, operations. Then, then we get this uh, uh, transformed index tree. And uh, this index tree will finally uh, will actually represent the code like this. So here we just use a suit code. Mm to uh, to simply describe that so here for example here the index node will be uh, will actually represent a level of loop similar with other index nodes so here it uh, uh, this index node corresponding to uh, two level loops because it contains two indices and g and then the for the leaf node it will be generated uh, corresponding to the uh, computer statement in uh, in each of the uh, loops so uh, here, uh, yeah. So in order to represent the index tree in our compiler, uh, we build, uh, we create the index tree IR operations. So basically, it contains three types of operations: the R tree operations, which means the identifier of the index tree op in the TIR, and the IT indices operation will represent the information in the index node, and the IT compute represents information in the compute node. So for this index tree uh, example, uh, the the uh, index node will, uh, uh, will, will represent it with the IT indices operation, and the uh, computer node will be represented with the IT compute operation. And uh, uh, finally, we will use a IT tree, uh, IT tree operation to represent the identifier of this index tree. So the actual operations will be like this. Uh, we can say it contains three types of uh, tensor algebra. Uh, Dialect operations, we call the index tree IR operations. So, 
so the generated uh, code example, we have this uh, expression as pgm, the DSL will be like this. And finally, it will be generated into the uh, index tree IR operations. And then based on the index tree IR operations, we will generate uh, the MLIR code. So here we just use the pseudocode to represent the uh, how the code structure looks like. But fine, actually, it is MI, MLIR code. So yeah, so as a conclusion, so here we talked in the sparse uh, uh, tensor algebra computations and the uh, especially the sparse input and the sparse output tensor expressions. So we introduce the workspace in the code generation and uh, we apply the workspace transformation and uh, we also define the index to IR operations to uh, represent the uh, to represent the index tree uh, structures for the code generation part. Yeah, so thank you. Uh, I'm happy to take any questions. If you have any question, you can contact me at my mentor uh, in, the, in these emails. Thank you.